This is where he was. Oh man. Check this out. I spent a lot of time in November sitting in the tree stand, took time off work mornings and nights and just waiting and waiting and waiting trying to find that big buck. Lots of deer came by, passed up a lot of small bucks, passed up a lot of does, seen some big ones but just didn't have any good shot opportunities on them. And uh, finally it was a Thursday evening, it was my last day uh, really of the hunt. Had one more sit after that so I'm really looking at the end here and made the decision, it was about 10-15 minutes before last light that anything that comes by, we're on a meat hunt. And uh, as I sat there, sure enough, to my right, a small little whitetail buck comes by, but no shot there. And uh, really, I knew I had one more sit, so I wanted to wait for a bigger buck. And uh, straight ahead of me on this tree stand, I call this the middle stand, and the trails come on either side, left side, right side, and this deer came straight in. And as he's walking in, I don't have any time to get any footage of him coming, so instantly he's right in front of me at about 25 yards he walks towards me and I'm thinking this is a tough shot I've never done a straight on shot before but I'd recently switched to Grim Reaper broadheads and I thought let's give these things a test and uh, the deer came to about 20 yards and I lined up I tried to stop him making a broadside so I'm actually waving and the deer looks up you can see in the video he looks up at me and uh, just staring at me but he wouldn't turn so I thought let's just take a straight on shot and do it for a harder shot and uh, took my time, made a great shot. All right, we're out here meat hunting. And a small muley buck came in. <clears throat> he just dropped about 40 yards away, so. I wasn't gonna make that shot, he was coming straight on, but uh, you know, it's my last day really. <clears throat> I can come back tomorrow, but I'm pretty much at the end of the season, so it's time to just fill the freezers. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get down here before we run out of light and get some video of this deer. It's just a spiker, but uh, I'm trying to get some meat here. All right, I uh, check out where I shot him at. I switched to Grim Reapers. This is where he was. Oh man, check this out. Like I said, I switched to Grim Reaper broadheads. There's my tree stand just up there. But I'm gonna follow this blood trail with you. Check out how much blood there is here. That's impact. Look at that blood trail. I'm gonna walk this all the way up. Yeah, he's just spraying here. I'm gonna say Grim Reaper performs. Look at that. I've never seen anything like this. We're just about there. But that is one heck of a blood trail. Little buck, but 
Wasn't that incredible how much blood came from that broadhead? Now the arrow went through the animal, it stuck in, in the deer in the front, but it did go through, left a huge hole. But more importantly, I watched that deer fall. He only went about 40 yards. And uh, at the end of the night, I went home with meat in the freezer. So it was a successful hunt, but very impressed with those broadheads. You know, we get out hunting and we uh, always say, let's get the biggest buck, let's get the biggest buck. We were chasing a few big ones this year. But uh, today's one of my last days and now it's, uh, it's about meat hunting. So this guy came in quite late and uh, had about 15 minutes to spare. He came in straight on and uh, quick easy shot. Amazing what those Grim Reaper broadheads did. The blood trail coming up here was unbelievable. So pretty happy with what I've seen. And uh, I'll be back here tomorrow hopefully for a whitetail. Uh, maybe some does, get some more meat for the freezer, but uh, you know, it's just a little guy, but uh, he's gonna be some good eating. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I know I had fun, I always have fun, doesn't matter if they're big or small, I still get excited, I still get nervous, and uh, you know, it never never gets old getting out in the bush and getting some hunting in. Love this sport, enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you know, go back, watch all the other videos that we have on our channel. I hope you enjoy watching these videos as much as we enjoy making them. So do us a favor, do yourself a favor, like them, share them. More importantly, subscribe to them, click on the little notification bell. So next time we upload a video, you'll be the first to know about it.